Okay, so now that we've gone over the wet paint mixer brush basics and learned how to make our own color palettes, I'm gonna show you just how effortless it is to sample directly from images. For example, I sampled directly from these images of watermelon to create these amazing brush strokes like you see here. And to get exactly the effect that you want, you might have to play around a little bit or move your image or your brush or zoom in or zoom out, but you can create amazing effects directly from images. So I'm just gonna give a little example here and grab one of my wet paint mixer brushes. I think I will grab something, let's see, or 31, 30 is kind of nice from my original wet paint mixer brush collection. And now I have just screenshotted some images that I thought had really beautiful colors in them on Unsplash. So here we've got an image. Um, one tip that I will recommend to you is often I don't download the images, I actually screenshot them because I don't really need them to be very big, especially if I'm wanting to use the colors from that image in a single brush stroke. So. A lot of times I just screenshot it, open it up in Photoshop. So now I've got that um, brush and now I'm gonna sample the color directly from that image just like it was a color palette that I created. So I go to the layer, in this case there's only one layer and I'm going to option click or alt click if you're on a PC. And I'll just click somewhere right here. And over here on the top left, we can kind of get a preview of the colors that have been loaded in it. So let me just go to my blank document. And now, um, let me just up my smoothness. Now we can make this really cool, beautiful brush stroke. And we have sampled those colors directly from the image. Again, you can, if you wanna get more colors in, you can right bracket or increase your brush size to kind of um, make your brush bigger before you select the colors and then option or alt click. And now I've actually sampled more colors or a, you know, a bigger area. So now I could go back and go back to my document and then just see how it looks. But this one is like um, not the most beautiful brush stroke, but you get the idea. Just play around, you can move it over here. Let me take my brush size down. So, you know, move it in different areas of your, um, whatever image you're sampling from. You can make the, um, let's see here, you know, increase the size of your brush, uh, decrease it, play around with where you sample from, but that's it. So you can just have a lot of fun with that. Um, for example, here I have this rose that I sampled, um, again from Unsplash. I just screenshot it and now I'm gonna option click and that samples from the center of it. So let's go over and look here. And now we can see we've got all those colors of the rose inside our brush stroke and we didn't have to do anything. So this has got tons of potential, lots of things that you can do with this. Um, let me just do another demo, demo here. I'll grab brush number 39 and let's see our option click and I'm gonna load up some colors from this little um, image. Again, it was from Unsplash. So let me go to my blank document and now I've got some of those gorgeous colors from this uh, area here. And now they're all blending. So it's just, it's like the world is your palette. Everything is digital. You can just click on any image and load up those colors um, straight into your brush. So much fun. And one other little tip that I will um, give you is that say for example, I, I love all these colors, but I don't, I want, um, Maybe if I'm making my brush stroke, I'm not seeing all of those colors in my brush stroke. So I'm gonna give you a little tip here. So we're gonna do a little combination of techniques. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to select an area of that image that has all the colors that I want. And you guys will probably recognize this if you're familiar with my pattern stamp technique, but we are going to select an area of the image. I am going to go to edit define pattern 
and I will click OK. It's fine. And now I'm going to grab my pattern stamp tool and I have got that pattern loaded here that I just defined. And now I want to grab my palette makers and we need to make sure that we have pattern stamp tool, palette maker, color jitter zero, have impressionist checked. And now let's go over here to a blank document with a clean layer. And now I'm going to, let me zoom out just a little bit. I'm going to just draw. And now all those colors from the image are painting out here, but it's much more condensed. So now I could take my mixer brush and option select from this layer. And now I'm probably gonna get a lot more of those colors directly within my brush stroke. So this just opens a whole world of possibilities. Any image can be a color palette and you can just have fun and experiment, change the location where you sample from, you can change the brush size, to go up or down depending on how much color you want to select and just let me know down below if you have any questions.